Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We're live for the Sweet and Snack Show with here with Carrie. And Carrie, I want you to, she's the founder CEO. I want you to tell us a little bit about your company. The company is called Newfangled Confections, and we're out of Indianapolis. And our signature product is this really unique fudge-like brittle called Frittle. So do people snack on it? Do they put in mixes? What do they do with it? They usually eat it on the way home. And then it's done. <laughs> it's done. Yeah, they have it in mind as a gift, and they're going to put a bow on it for their vegan or gluten-free friend. But they're like, no, I'm in stuck in traffic. I'm going to eat this. So what other products do you have that people love? Fiddle being the signature product is the one that we kind of took what we call from small batch to big box. And then locally in Indianapolis, we make anything that the city wants. So sweet and spicy nuts, we make southern pralines, uh, mints, whatever, whatever the community needs at the time. So why did you start this company? Passion for business, food, confections. I have a pastry baking background and I just enjoy just getting little treats or giving little treats. What were you doing before? Catering and hospitality. So how did you come across creating this particular product? It was at a wedding. I did sort of this vague dessert, peanut butter and chocolate, and had so many pieces left over, boxed them up, gave them out as gifts. And what I realized is that I enjoyed building that business side and the giving of treats more than packing a truck and catering. Got it. And so where can people find you? Us in yeah. Indianapolis. Yeah. Our uh, R&D kitchen is downtown Indianapolis, beautiful Indianapolis. And then as far as our product, we're in a lot of regional chains, Kroger, Fresh Time, Market District, Target, and then nationally we've got a couple coming up. And then your website, where can people find you? Newfangledconfections.com. So, here I want to talk about, um, you know, in this journey of entrepreneurship, it there's highs and lows. What are some of the challenges that have been interesting for you? Inventory. Packaging, it's this notion of like that you have to spend a little to make money and well maybe not a little but you really do. You have to you have to learn how to scale and what does that scale look like to you? Create inventory, buy more packaging to save as they say. And so those are just challenges that you're kind of prepared for in theory, but until you start taking the orders, going after the orders, they say yes. I feel like that's when the real work starts. Totally. And then how'd you come up with the name? It's the fudge like brittle. Frittle. So that's oh, how we did it. We it. literally just did a mashup, fudge and brittle. So there's been some milestones in the company. What have you been especially proud of so far? Wow, milestones. Uh, one was stepping out of the kitchen. So I'm a candy maker, have a local business. Once I chose to work on the business instead of in the business, it was hard to do that, but I would say that was a milestone. And two, I'd been attending this show for six years now, but it was probably four years ago. There was a real need to get somebody with confectionery on a national scale, their experience. And so I brought on a COO who has a long history. And then I would say um, other milestones are just being really present, like with the NCA and in, in the industry, where other people can either offer advice or connections or offer you know constructive criticism. So when you bring on a COO, what do you focus on then? What do you tend to focus on? It allows me to bring it back to the roots, which is local market, and social media, um, packaging details. It's basically everything not in the day-to-day -day is what I get to yeah. work on. So talk about some of the future. Any new products? What's, what's exciting coming up? Well, we do have a new product. As long as we've been doing this four ounce window box of the Frittle Candy, same delicious candy, but it's in a three and a half ounce stand-up bag or stand-up pouch. And those you'll see, uh, if you haven't already, are so popular right now in the confections industry. 
So, Carrie, uh, tell people again, where can they find you online? What's your website? Newfangledconfections.com or frittlecandy.com. Right. Or if you're in Indianapolis, you can go local. That's right. Very cool. That's right. All right, live from the Sweet and Snack. Thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.